everyone and welcome to another TWM Pro video on World of Warships and this is Hi to Albemarle and I think I'm pronouncing it right and this ship is quite the gem actually I absolutely love it I actually am doing this off a of replay as holy shit this ship was it's just art performed in every aspect it's a bit of a glass cannon but it's 203mm HE shells are pretty potent and it's AP is pretty well as well Another big redeeming feature for its glassiness is its anti-aircraft capability and it'll be showcased in this here game. With special thanks to Chaos Knight 40k for being a good sport and feeding me planes like I asked him to in chat. And I was I actually didn't think he, I didn't think I would go through it, uh, go through with it and totally does and it's absolutely on it's unreal how much he helped me by doing this. <laughs> so I'm gonna give him a special shout out. So Albermarble. Albo Albermarble. There we go. Got, the, got that time. It's got 10k torps, 2 times 4 and the torpedoes are pretty devastating with 62 knot speed and 15,000 damage for 533s which is pretty outstanding with pretty decent fire arcs. It's AA though is where the, um, it's the amazing thing happens really. It's got 6 times 4 buffers. 16 times 2 are Colleen's and 6 times 2 144's giving it a nasty medium range AA and quite potent long range AA getting the basic damage in. Now its base turn speed is about 11 seconds which isn't sorry I think it's 10.7 actually which is pretty good but if you actually look and mod well if you look at its modifications and modify it correctly you can actually get it down to 5.7 seconds on a hybrid heavy light cruiser which will save you quite a bit actually because the maneuverability is what makes this ship strong as you'll see when I get up into this here battle a bit I pretty much in short well in short I end up getting into a situation where it's pretty sticky but I get I do quite well in it so I'm hoping this will help give people a quick idea on how to actually use the Albermarle as honestly gun crews are on normal alert. it's quite a fun ship and I quite enjoy using it I think I need to turn the volume up in the game a wee bit alright there we go a bit better so this first set of bombers are coming in Lexington well first set of torpedo bombers an important one considering that Enemy force sighted on the horizon. So, as you can see, my AA is pretty potent already, but I'm not using my defensive AA. Even without it, as you can see, the AA damage is racking up quite quick, and with the maneuverability as it is, I'm able to dodge two out of three torpedoes. I probably should be able to dodge more, but that's my own cock up. So, I start shelling the torpedoes, trying to be a bit sneaky. As Hipper is up there, he's gonna start trying to shell me. Even bar on, this is a bit of a glass tank. It really is. You, if something, you, you get over pens, it keeps you alive essentially. It's sort of what makes you good. Concentrate so, fire on the enemy warship. Two penetrations for 2k, pretty normal for HE. Especially with a 13 second reload, it's not too punishing. So comes in with the dive bombers. I believe it's the it's either the dive bombers or the next squadron that comes in that is scary and how might it well they perform. So as you can see I'm using my maneuverability to keep close so I can get nice firing areas on the ships. That was a great battle. In come the planes. Anti-aircraft gun crews are on full alert. I max out with anti-aircraft gun crews. There we go, 14,000 damage. 12 planes shot down, 13. Up to 40,000 plane damage so far. So, at this point I use my I've used my heel, and the Charles Markel is closing the distance on me. And this is where the torpedoes come in very handy with the speed that they're at. Now, now this guy goes, why do you turn outside? Watch it. So. The speed of these torpedoes at 62 knots lets me kill the ship very quickly. Fire. 
Shard of AP, devastating strike. So, he's coming through there. I've dropped out my second side of Torx. Nar, this will show, I'll show you what I mean when it comes up the paper armor here, as it's not very good. I get shot, even from the front, I get quite devastatingly hit. But fortunately enough for me, I've got fast torpedoes that manage to do the guts of 14,000, well, the guts of 40,000 damage in a single base mark. Two devastating strikes in a row, and there's me in the, I'm still in a bit of a sticky situation, I'm actually about to die, but this is essentially my small, well, it's not a really a big car to guide on, but it's a, a quick guide on how to actually play the album model and my playstyle as I believe. At Bismarck, at Charles Martel for the price of one. It's pretty good at uh, 51,000 playing damage and 29 shutdowns. To me, that's good odds and that's worth a trade. Personally speaking, as you can see, AP is pretty good. I just took 3k out of uh, Queen Elizabeth. I'm sent hoping I can repair in time. But sadly, no, I don't repair in time. And Queen Elizabeth kills me. But as you can see with the Alba Marvel, the, Al the Alba Marvel is, is, is so fucking hard to pronounce. And I actually thank him there for it as he done me a big service by letting me be able to show how potent this ship's A is for air defense and defending ships. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up in a couple of minutes as, uh, as well. There's not much point in really me showing the rest. As, as me sinking. <laughs> but anyways, thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe and hope you enjoyed the video of how to help tomorrow. And I think I shall get into trying to make more how to videos eventually when I actually get better with other ships. But I, th I thought I should try this ship as it's quite new. Anyways, thanks again for watching and please like and subscribe.